let's go to the market. Like, <laughs> that was my best example of another American accent, I'm afraid. Hello name nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we're looking to the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking to the first name of, I'm not going to say it right now, I'll say it a bit later on because it kind of gives the game away if I say it right now, depending on how I say it. But before we begin, I need to say a huge thank you to one Claudia or Claudia Link. They became a patron in the most recent week. Thank you so, so much, Claudia, for becoming a patron. Patron is the single best way you can help support Name Explain. Donate $1 on a monthly basis. You get ad-free videos, exclusive content, a chance to say what names are explained, and your name at the end of all of these videos. If you adore Patreon enough, you adore Patreon enough, you adore Name Explain enough, that you want to help support the show financially, that's the best way to do it. But if you don't want to commit to a monthly donation, consider leaving a super thanks down in the comments of this video. That's a great one-time way to make a donation. That's a great way to make a one-time donation, I ought to say. You thought I'd be better with words by now, considering how much you talk about them, but nope, not the case at all. Patreon.com, forward slash next link down below. Thank you. Anyway, on with today's name. And before we talk about today's name, we need to talk about language as a whole, I suppose. Because despite the USA and the UK both having English as their main language, there are some huge differences between the English spoken here and there. Those differences between British English and American English include the spelling of certain words, most noticeably we include a U in the word colour, while in American English that isn't the case, and of course things have completely different names in some cases between British English and American English, like how trousers and pants or eggplants and aubergines, just to name a couple examples. But another key difference is the way words are actually pronounced. Some words, despite being spelt exactly the same way, and having the exact same meaning in British English and American English have completely different pronunciations and the name we're talking about in today's video is certainly one of them. So here in British English we pronounce the name this video is all about as, drum roll please because I know it's going to confuse some Americans, Bernard. Yeah we just say like B-E-R-N-E-D, Bernard, that's how we pronounce this name, so we would say like St. Bernard in regards to the dog. Whereas in American English, this name is pronounced as, and once again drum roll, because this might confuse some British people, Bernard. So like, Bernard. I don't know if I can do an American accent all that well. Bernard. Bernard? Bernard? What's, what's going on there? Bernard, it's more like B-E-R-N-A-R-D. More, I guess, the way it's spelled, really. Bernard. Bernard, 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 Bernard. There's there's a noticeable difference between the two, that's for sure. This, of course, like most instances of British English and American English clashing, has led to some ruffled feathers between the two speakers of these languages, where people arguing over which version is correct. And you know what? They're both correct. It's just different ways of pronouncing the same word. There's not one definitive way to pronounce any word, I suppose. Different people say word differently. I'm just trying to defend my own mispronunciations, really, I suppose. But no, this video isn't about finding out what is the correct version way to pronounce this name, because they're both correct. It just depends who's saying it. What we're more here to answer is where exactly did this difference in pronunciation actually come from? And well, to answer this question, we have to look a bit more into how exactly Americans and British people actually speak. Over the years, the English spoken in the UK and the USA has changed pretty drastically. Thanks to this, as well as the accents used in each country, certain letters and sets of letters have become pronounced differently in the US and the UK, despite the fact we are both speaking English. And in Bernard's instance, it all has to do with the letter R. Here in British English, R's aren't as well pronounced when they come after a vowel. Take a word like market. When I say it in British English, you'll notice that I don't pronounce the R all that much. It's like market. Ma, like a mother, Ma. Hello, Ma. Hello, Ma. Ket. Ket is a nickname for something else entirely, I suppose. We don't need to talk about that. But, like, you can see when I say it with British English, the R doesn't really do that much, it's just the way we speak over here, market. We, we we drop all kinds of words, H's get dropped, T's get dropped, water instead of water, air instead of hair. Um, it's just the way we speak in British English, I'm afraid. Of course, that varies from different parts of the country. This is exactly what's happening with the name Bernard too. Of course, Bernard has two R's that come after vowel, so it kind of happens twice. This means that to Brit, the name Bernard becomes more pronounced as Bernard because there's those two R's that are come after vowels, so they don't get as well pronounced. But I'd argue that that first R gets a little bit more pronounced, Bernard. 
like you can hear it a little bit Bernard it's not as well pronounced and the second arm isn't pronounced at all we say like Ned like Ned Flanders I suppose Bernard like Burr, like Ned, is cold. Like, oh, Burr, Ned, I'm freezing. That's a good way to remember it. If you ever meet someone in Britain called Bernard, and you don't have to pronounce their name, just imagine Homer being like, Burr, Ned, I'm cold. Symptoms helps for a lot of things, evidently. I don't know where this is going from, just, that wasn't in the notes. <laughs> Americans, however, they freaking love pronouncing an R. They'll pronounce an R whenever and wherever, even if it comes after a vowel. Let's go back to that example of market. When said with an American English accent, the R in market gets a lot more pronounced. Let's go to the market. Like, <laughs> that was my best example of another American accent, I'm afraid. Yeah, um, as you can hear, just go ask an actual American to pronounce this word and it'll be a bit more obvious to hear than my crude attempt at it. <laughs> oh Lord. This means that the two R's in Bernard are a lot more pronounced in US English and gives us that more Bernard pronunciation of the name that is so popular and standard in the US. So it all has to do with the way these two different dialects of English are spoken in the UK and USA. But Bernard, or Bernard I ought to say, isn't the only name that changes pronunciation on either side of the Atlantic. Graham is another terrific example. We say Graham over here, where in America it's more sort of truncated into just Graham. And this kind of once again has to do with the ways Americans pronounce words. It's kind of a bit more compact together. Is there an A R here? There's an R A in Graham. Am I saying that right? So I'm looking at my notes. Yeah, it goes G R A, so Graham. And the H in the middle kind of like just gets a bit lost in the middle somewhere and just becomes Graham. I did listen to Americans pronunciate this word. And a lot of them, when said more formally, will say Graham. Graham, you hear it, it kind of, it is kind of still there, but most Americans who are saying it more casually, it kind of just becomes Graham, but the intention is there to a degree. And there's also the name Craig, which here in British English rhymes more with vague, but in US English often gets pronounced in a very similar way to the name Greg, which is very strange. Craig, Craig, Greg. Very odd. But the pronunciation of Bernard or Bernard in the US is just one of the examples of the many differences between British English and US English. But maybe I'm not the person to ask about mispronunciations or pronunciation in general. I'm not a very valid source for any of that sort of stuff. Also, we should probably actually explain what the name Bernard actually means, shouldn't we? We got so caught up on the pronunciation of it that we forgot to explain where it comes from. It comes from Germanic root and their elements of Berlin and Hart, meaning bear and brave respectively. So this name means something along the lines of brave as a bear or strong as a bear or mighty as a bear, basically being as awesome in some capacity as a bear, which is a terrific meaning for a name. Like, bears are great. I freaking love bears. And get like a funny picture of a bear up right now because it's made me very happy. I love bears. So this name is related to bears and being as brave as a bear. I'm so down for that. We should try and bring this name back, guys. And I mean bring it back because this name is not in the top 1,000 most popular boys names in the USA at all anymore, which is sad. It's kind of become an old man name, I'll say. I think it could come back, especially its nickname of Bernie. I could see Bernie becoming popular once again, like little baby Bernie, and that bringing Bernard back. I think Bernard's time, Bernard's rise, is going to be happening sometime soon. Here in the UK, however, it's the 792nd most popular first name. So somehow in the top thousand here in the UK, not sure how that's happening, but there must be some baby Bernards going on out there at the moment as we speak, I suppose. Maybe it's going to be on the rise, maybe it'll go down, who's to say? Famous Bernards include Bernard Shaw, a famous Irish playwright and activist, I believe. There's also Bernie Saunders, a presidential candidate a few years running now, never got the chance to run. Um, I'm sure you know who Bernie Saunders is, but yeah, his name is actually Bernard. As I said, Bernie is a nickname of Bernard. I never really clicked that his name would actually be Bernard. I was so used to just him being called Bernie. And something else I found out quite interesting is that Jeremy Corbyn, who for all intents and purposes is kind of seen as the UK version of Bernie Saunders. There's huge differences there. I'm sure we'll have a lovely political debate in the comments below. His middle name is actually Bernard too, I guess. So he's Jeremy Bernard Corbyn. They're both Bernards. Quite similar, even have the same name. Fun. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Bernard. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Bernard or Bernard? Are you called Bernard or Bernard yourself? 
let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thought to you guys had on last week's name of Martin. Bear Green said, imagine a Roman name for the god Mars becoming our name for Martians. It sounds really silly when you say it like that, but I can imagine it actually. All of space is full of Roman and Greek mythological names, not just the planets, even like the way we name satellites. I believe, was it Juno? The satellite we sent to Jupiter fairly recently, that was named Juno. And that was an ode to Jupiter's wife, Zeus's wife. I might be making this up completely, but the joke was that all of Jupiter's moons are named after Zeus's lovers. And the satellite was his actual wife that was coming to actually be like, Oi, what are you doing? Really fun, like, nerds, they like to name things silly things. And most nerds who are in space are also into mythology too. So I can 100% see Mars or Martin being the name we use for Martians if we ever find them or when we find them however you want us to hear. Kingsley said, another great name for a Martian would be Marvin, if only because of the Looney Tunes character. I thought this would be what the video is about. I'm surprised you didn't mention it. Yeah, I was tempted to mention it, but I just didn't. And maybe I should have done because I confused a lot of people clearly, but now it's talking about the name Martin. Marvin makes sense as well, especially from like an electro perspective. I wonder if they were tempted to call him Martin at all, Martin the Martian. They should have done. Who have made Looney Tunes? Chuck something? on his name. Who are the Looney Tunes? We should have named them that. And David Bryden said, civil rights leader is the most commonly used term in the States, followed by loads of really fun little emojis. So this is in reference to Martin Luther King. I called him a civil rights activist in the video. I couldn't, literally in the video, I was like, what's the correct term I'm using here? Leader is 100% the correct term. Thank you very much, David, for highlighting that fact. He certainly was a leader in that field. I saw he only died at like 38. Was it 38? He died super young. Like, I feel like I didn't know that. That's so young. He achieved so much in such a short span. What am I, Leaf King Jr.? You did pretty good. Go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. And then the winning name from that poll will be the name covered in the next Fun With First Names video. Um, I'm gonna do a call to action here at this point. I want you guys to go suggest some less English origin names. We've done so many sort of names that are commonplace in the English speaking world. Go suggest some like, Spanish names. Go suggest some Spanish language names down in the comments below. I'll put a little pinned comment as well asking for that as well because let's try and mix things up a little bit more here. I said I was going to do this more often but I never did but I'm doing it now. But if you do put a name down there and want to vote on that name, you guys know where to go. Patreon.com forward slash name explained. It takes just one dollar a month to join the Patreon. You get ad free videos, you get exclusive content, you can vote on those polls, you can suggest videos to be made for Request Wednesday, you get your name at the end of these videos. There's loads of stuff there you can message me just drop me a message on patreon i'll respond to it most likely if you message me on patreon i've responded so so sorry i need to get back to you but just just come hang out really there's some really fun people there don't know why i went silent after that patreon.com forward slash name explain link down below or just leave a super thanks one-time donation I spoke too much. But anyway, that's just about everything from myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, my name is Ben YT, and don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, all, take care. Whew! That took it out of me that time, Amber. I'm tired. Tired, tired, tired. The main, like, ceiling light. It just died on me. Literally just like yesterday, it kind of went pleh and just stopped working. So to pain, I use a daylight bulb because it's good lighting. Might look better, might look worse, let me know either way. But apart from that, I think we're good to go. Bernard, Bernard. I'm gonna have to do a lot of American accents in this video, I think, Amber. Bernard. There's some, there's some strange differences between English and Americanish. English, I'm gonna do this whole part again. I think you want to say? What am I saying? Followed by a vowel. No, when they follow a vowel. When they are followed, no, what am I, when they come after, when they come after. But anyway, that's just about everything from my blur. Thank you, ta.